Hey guys, Doyle here with Doyle's Basement Records. Hope everyone's enjoying their day. Uh, this episode's gonna be called Is Your Local Record Store Robbing You? Uh, it's gonna kind of talk about, I work in a record store in Kansas City and I'm gonna kind of tell you kind of behind the scenes and how record stores should do. But other than that, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, Leave me in the comment. Uh, let me know if I suck or if I'm doing all right. But other than that, let's begin. Yes, yeah, got a little cheap draft. All right, the first part is don't price gouge. All right, we're gonna just talk kind of about used records. You know, most record stores will have a, a section where you buy the new, uh, buy people's records they want to sell and you put them in uh, the new arrival bin. <clears throat> and this should, <laughs> These are should be moved to sell. You shouldn't see anything real high dollar unless it's a special pressing. So like a lot of these like Pink Floyd, Zeppelin, Queen, the Bob Dylans, um, some Ramones that come in. Kind of thing, like that kind of stuff, like real popular. Man, a lot of it can be 12 to 15 bucks and you really shouldn't be paying more than that unless it's a special pressing uh, or it's just in immaculate condition and 20 bucks. But if you start seeing it, 25, 30, 35, if they don't have something written on like where the price is saying a special issue you know special pressing or whatever dude yeah they're trying to get over on you and like I said unless it says a certain pressing on it then that's fine but if it didn't say that a either they should say it because they need to put it on there or they just don't care um, so either one of those always kind of like, like I said, that special pressing, it needs to say it on there, like what we do. We write it on there if it's a special pressing. Um, learn to know your repeat customers. Uh, man, we have so many people we see every week. We know them by name. Um, it's it's a great feeling when you get to see, it's like you get to see some of your friends come in every week, you know, and shoot the shit about music with them. And another great thing, well, you need to see a, a lot of record stores. That, uh, we have something if you say get our emails you get 20% off that highest out uh, highest item but if you know if we really like you and you come in a regular spend a lot of money we're gonna knock it out the whole order or if you work at another if you work at one of our Kansas City um, record stores it's called the music brotherly love we're gonna knock 20% off or you're a musician we're gonna knock 20% off off everything for you uh, I always thought that was pretty cool um, but, oh, kind of back to that price gouging, man. There's a channel that I really like. I know it's in the East Coast. I ain't going to mention it. But, man, they'll show, like, the shit they buy in. And the tickets on them, like I was saying. It's, like, a lot of them were 30 bucks. Like like I said, when I was mentioning earlier, like, it's the Stones, the Black Sabbaths, Led Zeppelin, Floyd's. Like, a lot of these you can get 12 to 15 bucks. If it's a little more, it's because it should be a special pressing. But man, they don't write anything on. It's like 30 bucks, man. We got that for 15. And it looks like in pretty decent shape, but shouldn't be fucking $30. Um, so, like I said, you gotta be careful for that, especially if you're getting new into the hobby. Um, some stores will try to take advantage of you. That's one thing I love about working this store. No, we're not snobs. This is another thing. Um, we're not going to be a snob to you. Um, we're not going to judge you on like what records you buy, what equipment. And I've had the equipment when I was younger getting judged. Um, <laughs> this one's got to fly. <coughs> Let's see. I'm probably, <coughs> excuse me, I'm probably about 20 years old. I go to this place. I still go from time to time too. Um, I'd probably buy like maybe a hundred bucks worth of records. Nothing too crazy. Kind of all used. Kind of filling in. Like I said, I was pretty young. And man, he uh, he scanned everything. Tells me prices. Like, so what do you listen? Like, um, what do you have in everything? And dude, I didn't have anything. I had a. I know I had. Oh, I can't see it. But I remember I had a cheap, uh, real cheap record player with a real cheap receiver. Like a JVC receiver for like 50 bucks. And he was like, man, I wouldn't even want to listen to records if I had a setup like that. Like, what's the point? I was like, god damn. 
I mean, I get where you're coming from on both ends, but, you know, when you start out or you don't got much money, I wish I could have, at the time, afford, you know, a nice fucking receiver, a decent-sized record player, whatever. But, you know, that's just, that's, it's not always in the cards, unfortunately. Another, oh yeah, I already talked about the discount, one thing you should, every record place, every record store should have a discounted, like you say something where you get you 20% off, like I was saying earlier. Especially for those, those uh, guys who come in, guys and ladies that come in every week, man. Get to know them, and then hook them up, man. You see them spending hundreds of, hundreds of dollars every time they come in. And it's just going to make them want to come in more and tell people more about your store. Like I said, just don't be a dick, man. That's Just because you work at a record store doesn't mean you're better than that person, or like, I know more music about you, <laughs> or whatnot. Um, oh, and I like a bigger... I know all the stores can't be real big, but... I like a big record store. I'm not a real big fan of those little small. They're cool, don't get me wrong, but it's usually never gonna have nothing that I want. I like seeing like fuck. Yeah, I said fuck. When you walk in, um, you see a bunch of like wow, almost overwhelming with records. Like all right, and then you're gonna kind of walk around in our store. We got a big rock section, country, jazz, huge import section, and then a big place for the new arrivals. So those are all the new releases, new reissue LPs. And we got thousands of the new. Like it takes up a whole wall. Um, let's see. And then another thing, man. It's kind of almost like this is on the new releases. Follow the distribute site. Like we use the web M web M A I or web M D I. Sorry. Um, and it'll tell you how much we will pay for it at the store and what we will charge and man I, i've seen other stores i'm like y you're not following protocol at all <laughs> there was one album in particular that's all kind of going around i heard the price is going around. that counting crows uh, august and everything else great album i own it myself but man that's one of those albums i heard it some people were saying they were paying <clears throat> Like 45, 50 plus, maybe even 55 with tax. And I was like, oh, oh. I hope they got like <laughs> maybe it was a special something. But I, if it's from like one of the tribute sites, no, you got had. Um, so yeah, it just certain things just take a kind of be careful, take a look at. Uh, I don't know, most, majority of these uh, local record shops, man, they're not trying to, they're not in it for the money, they're in it for the music, you know, the people, the, the, who come in, like I said, the regulars, you get to know them, it, it's fun, it's fun when you see someone, you say, oh, hey, Chris, what's up, you know, or whatnot, and you say their name right back, um, but yeah, you get a, you get a, meet a lot of cool people that way, and then you get to learn different different music what they prefer and what I prefer and then people are like hey what do you suggest and then like and then another thing you should always have where the new releases is like the new records come out every Thursday or whatnot and then there should be a side where it says the staff picks and I'll have my name will say Doyle with my pick of the week or whatnot and then everyone else that works there the picks so just, I mean like I said it's cool when you get to know people like that. Let's see what else we got. Oh, man. That's kind of it. I guess for kind of for right now, I just want to do a little video. And I'm sorry, I can't do editing. I'm just going off my phone. But maybe one day I'll get uh, editing and then I'll do a little bit longer detailed video. I just kind of want to get this one off on the feet. <laughs> off. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what happens when you can't edit it. You look like a psycho. Oh, man. But other than that, guys, um, man, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment, let me know if I suck, if I'm doing it all right. Other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your uh, evening. I might listen to a little bit more and watch some TV. But other than that, I think that's going to be it. Appreciate it, guys.